10 Best Picks presents the Top 10 Best Electric Kettles. Starting at number 10. Breville BKE820XL. Daily rituals are important. Whether it is brewing coffee or tea, making oatmeal or muesli, or simply popping a toaster pastry down in the toaster, what we do to start our day matters. Being able to control the temperature of our morning beverage or hot cereal of choice may seem like a luxury, but it is the little details that make our morning rituals matter. That is what the Breville BKE820XL variable temperature kettle was designed for, perfecting the morning ritual. This premium quality kettle has everything in terms of features, quality, and durability. Let's take a look at the many reasons this kettle is the ideal choice for discerning morning ritualists. All that wattage with a half gallon carafe means that this kettle gets your water to your desired temperature quickly. Making that perfectly brewed cup of tea or coffee that is precisely the desired temperature you want in a short amount of time provides the luxurious experience one would expect from such a high-end product. The savings in time alone allows to you spend more time sipping and less time waiting. After all, isn't time what the morning ritual is all about a high-quality kettle demands a high-quality base. The Breville BKE820XL features an all-stainless steel encased platform with a brushed metal finish and well-spaced, user-friendly buttons that are easy to read and operate. Furthermore, with five temperature presets, this model can brew any beverage to whatever temperature you most prefer. Various blends of tea also require specific brewing temperatures well below the boiling point of water. In addition to keeping your tea a readily drinkable temperature, being able to set a specific temperature means that your tea will not overbrew. Look for BKE820XL Electric Kettle Reviews to know about customer experiences. At Number 9. Sakura SWK1701DB. The Sakura SWK1701DB is your basic, pitcher-style kettle. It offers no temperature settings nor temperature holding. It is not particularly fast to boil, and it is difficult to pour. Moreover, by comparison to its peers, this product is overpriced. We think that you will find other products in this review more satisfactory. At 4 min, 23 sec to bring 4 cups of 57 degrees Fahrenheit water to a boil, the Sakura won't break any records. However, the time isn't too shabby either. A kettle's pouring characteristics are important in two ways. 1. If you like pour over coffee, you'll want to reduce the flow to a slow, steady stream. 2. If you are making lots of hot drinks, you'll want a kettle that can pour fast, but steady. In comparison to its peers, the Sakura is terrible at slow pours and marginal at fast pours. The Sakura offers little in the way of ease of use features. It lacks temperature holding and setting options, although it does shut itself off when it hits a rolling boil. The water reservoir is constructed of stainless steel, and the lid capping it is attached. The unit has a max fill line set at 1.7L and it pours over a pitcher-style nozzle. Value is simply a ratio of product performance and price, the higher the performance and the lower the cost, the greater the value. Our research shows that the Sakura is overpriced when compared to its peers. As such, we do not find this product to be a very good value. Number 8 of my list. Hario Gooseneck. If there's one coffee ritual that everyone should learn, it's pour-over brewing. For those unfamiliar with this technique, pour-over drip coffee is prevalent in third-wave coffee houses, though the practice is much older than one might think. The primary device used to make pour-over coffee is the gooseneck-style kettle, which works in tandem with pour-over drippers, such as the Melita, Hario V60, Chemex, or Kalita Wave. And while a kettle may not seem as crucial as a dripper or bean grinder, it has a significant effect on how well one can brew a cup of coffee. This is where the Buono falls a bit behind the competition, and it's mostly because of the Buono's thin body metal and gooseneck angle. When it comes to pour-overs, the gooseneck's angle and shape is everything. To produce a perfect coffee, some brewers, like the Bonavita and Fellow Stag, subscribe to the waterfall theory, whereupon water flows over the edge of the gooseneck's tip and drops straight down into the brewer at close to a 90-degree angle. The other theory for water flow is what I'll dub direct injection, whereupon the gooseneck is shaped in such way that water is directed downward toward the coffee grounds. For my tests, I used the ubiquitous Hario V60 conical brewer. 
their Buono kettle falls in between the waterfall and direct injection angles, which means water is much more likely to flow at an angle, instead of straight down. When you use the Buono, you'll find that positioning the kettle at the precise angle you'll need to produce a slow, steady stream of boiling water was extremely difficult. I've actually had years of practice with this, and still find it challenging. Another issue with the Buono, is that its thin metal body tends to quickly lower the water's temperature, which meant a slightly less consistent brew. Coming at number 7. Bottom 11,883 259 US. The gooseneck kettle features a slender mouth, a compact body and an eye-catching sturdy electric base. Our stylish kettles are designed and built to the highest standards, that's all you need to improve your brewing style and enjoy more cups. The nozzle is specially designed to give you the best control of water flow and to achieve the best possible conduction. In this way, natural bean oil can be extracted optimally to achieve the best taste and aroma. Like the cap, the handle has soft natural cork to enhance your flair while ensuring the kettle is always comfortable. It cooks very quickly and can boil a few cups at a time. Thanks to the narrow and slender nozzle, compact structure and steady power base, the Melior curved kettle is efficient and eye-catching. Our stylish kettles are designed and built to the highest standards, that's all you need to improve your brewing style and enjoy more cups. The nozzle is specially designed to give you the best control of water flow and to achieve the most accurate vacuum possible. In this way, natural bean oil can be extracted optimally to achieve the best taste and aroma. The kettle was designed with an inverted coffee maker in mind. The durable bottom can boil water with the push of a button and has an LED display and an automatic shut-off function, so you are safe. The nozzle is specially developed for optimum control of water flow. When a cup of bottom coffee is brewed, the natural bean oil extraction can be optimized for great taste and aroma. At Number 6. Breville USA BKE 595XL. The Breville BKE 595XL Crystal Clear Electric Kettle is a beautiful, BPA-free kettle with high wattage, a large water capacity, and convenient cordless serving. If you're part of a family that uses a lot of hot water, the Breville is both big and fast. It can be also difficult to find totally BPA-free kettles, and with the high and fast 1800 watts on this kettle, it doesn't come at a cheap price. Most electric kettles seem to max out at about 1500 watts. This Breville BKE 595 XL has 1800 watts, which means exceptionally fast boiling. 1500 watts can heat up 1 liter of water in 4 minutes, so it stands to reason that 1800 watts will shave off a few minutes off that time. When you need hot water and you're in a hurry, this is the kind of wattage you'll need. If most of your family likes a hot drink around the same time R needs water for instant soup, noodles, and more, you will need the extra large 7 cup capacity on this Breville kettle. You can prepare enough water for everyone in less than 5 minutes and don't have to heat up in shifts. A kettle full of boiling water can be dangerous. Luckily, the lid on this kettle is designed to slowly release steam and prevent splash, so you are safe from steam and hot water burns. To keep the kettle as cool as possible, it is equipped with boil dry protection, which means the kettle automatically shuts off when the water reaches the boiling point. Serving from the Beak AE 595 XL is very convenient. The kettle body detaches from the corded base, so you can move freely with the kettle from the kitchen to the table and back without messing with the cord. For more information and price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. Halfway of my listed number 5. Bonavita 1. Zero L Variable. You could have ground the most exotic coffee beans and achieved the perfect grind size for your favorite pour-over method, but if the water temperature is wrong and you mess up the agitation process, your brew would end up tasting like sadness. The Bonavita Variable Temperature Kettle that we review today is one of the most popular gooseneck kettles. But does it live up to its promise? Let's find out now. This model is a more capable variant of Bonavita's BV3825B standard electric kettle. While they've added exciting features, the company has chosen to maintain the functional design of the previous model. This 1-liter kettle is made of brushed stainless steel, with BPA-free plastic on the base, the handle, and lid knob. 
While the ergonomically designed handle is very comfortable to hold, we feel that the black plastic takes away from the stylishness of the brushed metal finish and makes the kettle look cheaper than it is. This stainless steel kettle features a long gooseneck spout, a cordless 360 degrees swivel base that makes it easy to grab and place back, and a removable lid with tension adjusters to ensure a tight fit. We really like the upgrade and all the extra features as they are incredibly useful for pour over coffee brewing. If you own a regular kettle, or a gooseneck spout kettle that brings water to its boiling point, you might be tempted to pour it immediately, rather than wait for it to cool down slightly, but that would be a mistake. Coming in at number 4 of my list. Cusinert CPK17 Perfect Amp. The Cusinert Perfect Amp was a contender for our Editor's Choice Award for Best Multi-Purpose Kettle, as it performed well at most of our test tasks. The kettle brings water to boil quite fast, it pours quickly, and it has a generously proportioned reservoir. However, it struggles with controlled pouring as it's heavy and poorly balanced. One of the big advantages that an electric kettle has that stovetop kettles lack is speed in which a boil is achieved. The Perfect Temp is a prime example of this as it will bring 4 cups of 57 degrees Fahrenheit water to a boil in just 4 minutes flat. This time will increase for most folks as our lab is at 6200 feet above sea level, and the boiling temperature here is around 10 degrees Fahrenheit lower than at sea level. That being said, the pace at which this machine heats water will still impress those at lower elevations. We looked at pouring from two opposing perspectives. First, we analyzed how easy it is to make slow, even pours that are preferred when making drip coffee. Second, we assessed how quickly a kettle can pour while maintaining control of the discharge. Like most of the pitcher-style kettles, the Cusinert struggles with slow pouring as it is heavy and has an arched handle design that does not promote a natural, balanced pouring position. Moreover, the spout of this model is wide with a thin lip that favors high-volume pouring. It is our thinking here at TechYourLab that value is the result of a price-quality ratio wherein quality is high and price is low relative to other similar products. While we think that the Cusinert CPK17 Perfect Temp is a quality product, the price-quality ratio is a bit out of balance when compared to equivalent kettles. Accordingly, we do not think this product offers the consumer an outstanding value. At Number 3. Fellow Staggy KG. The fellow Staggy KG comes from a company known for making gorgeous coffee brewers and accessories. That makes us wonder if this gooseneck kettle puts form before function. Or will it actually help us brew a knockout cup of pour-over coffee? It did well when compared against other pour-over kettles. But let's break it down and really put it to the test. If the coffee's brewed at boiling point, it risks being scorched. If it's brewed at too low a temperature, the oils will never be properly integrated. It's widely accepted among enthusiasts that 90 to 96 degrees centigrade is ideal. If you're not immediately ready to start your coffee brewing ritual, or you want to be able to make a second coffee after a few minutes, it won't be a problem. The hold feature can maintain your water hot for up to an hour, even if you remove the kettle from its stand and place it back. The fellow Staggy KG kettle wasn't only designed to be incredibly quirky, but also to ensure an optimal flow rate and allow you full control over the agitation process of your brew. The narrow diameter of the spout guarantees precise drip accuracy without drip return. While it's incredible at slow pours, it doesn't pour too fast, so it might take a while to fill up a Chemex. We think it works best with smaller coffee makers such as the Kalita Wave and the Hario. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Coming at number 2, OXO Brew 8717100. The OXO kettle is an excellent product with one significant flaw, which is a failure to display water temperature on a continuing basis after reaching its target. One can only speculate that perhaps it was a cost-saving measure on OXO's part, and indeed, at $99, this kettle is on the budget-friendlier end of the category spectrum. Yet, particularly for a brew method so dependent on precision, it's a frustrating omission. In almost all other respects, the OXO kettle performed quite well in our tests. 
Not only did it bring 600 milliliters of water up to 205 degrees Fahrenheit more than a minute faster than the other three kettles we tested, but it also accurately recognized the targeted 205 degrees Fahrenheit and turned the heater off, shifting automatically into keep warm mode. A handy beep alerts you to this first achievement of the target temperature, though after that the exact temperature becomes something of a guessing game, see below. The OXO allows a roughly 3 degree drop before reheating to the target temperature. This fluctuation is well within average compared to other kettles, but it only beeps the first time it hits the target. So, you can therefore assume that the temperature inside the kettle is almost exactly the temperature you want either at the moment that it beeps or at the moment the quiet heater ceases its whisper after reheating, though, in the latter case, you'll have to hover and listen carefully. As for the exact temperature during the cooling and reheating cycle, the unchanging display simply leaves you in the dark. And number 1. Mueller Premium 1500 Watts. Want to boil water without using any gas stove or something like that? We're here to show the easiest way to do, so that is the use of an electric kettle. This just looks like a jug, where you can keep water for ordinary use. But, the job of it is quite different as it can boil the water in minutes. This electric kettle is brought to you by Mueller, the well-known brand for kitchen tools. Using this kettle, you'll be able to accomplish so many chores in your kitchen, and it will increase the beauty level of the entire room. Stay tuned to see all the amazing aspects of Mueller Premium 1500W electric kettle. This kitchen tool is a kettle used for making water boiled, keeping the outward side of it normal. That means using this, you'll be able to boil water as much as you want, but it will not make the outside part of it hot. For ensuring your safety and effectiveness of the electric kettle extreme temperature resistant glass has been used in this kettle. For making it friendly to the users, a handle is kept at the opposite side of the spout. You'll see a removable lid at the top of the kettle, and you'll have to open it for pouring water. For boiling water, you just need to pour water in it and turn on the kettle placing the kettle above the power base. In less than 5 minutes of such placing, you'll see the water is boiled. It will not consume so much space at your kitchen as its dimension is 9. 8x8. 9x7. 4 inches. If you want to purify natural water or to make tea or coffee, this will meet your needs in such an amazing way. Let's see how you'll have to use this best kitchen tool. For more information and price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, share this video and hit the like button.